everyone, welcome back, or simply welcome to my channel. I am Danny, also known as Digital Nomad Danny, and if you are new here, this is the channel for all things digital nomading, travel, packing, hacks, tips, and god knows what else. So today is a very requested video, and it is my packing video, because right now I am currently in Greece, and I recently posted a TikTok showing that I packed for a whole month vacation in half of my carry-on suitcase. Specifically, this one. Now, a lot of people were very surprised that I managed to pack for an entire month in half of this suitcase, especially being a plus-size girl. So this is going to be a breakdown of absolutely everything I packed and the logic behind it. A few disclaimers. I have been traveling for a really long time. I travel very often as a digital nomad and I was a full-time traveler for a very long time and I have always traveled carry-on only. So this isn't new and of course I have perfected my travel packing to fit my needs and my style of traveling. I am a very minimalistic person, not a very high maintenance person either. So I am completely fine with reusing outfits because hello, we do have this thing called washing machines and or our hands that we can wash our clothes with. So in reality, yes, I do not pack a lot of clothes because I do not have the need to constantly be changing my outfits. That's just not how I travel. But if that is the type of person that you are when you travel, all the power to you. I am not saying that this is the only way that you can pack, but I find this to be much more useful to me because I like to be light and not have to lug around something that's really heavy because this thing is super light. So let's get on with what's inside. Now, while this suitcase may look kind of large, uh, this is a regular carry-on size suitcase. It fits all of the requirements for budget airlines. I flew with Wizz Air on this thing. This is all of my clothes. It only is full, exactly half of it. And of course, I also have my backpack, which is surprisingly heavier than my suitcase, but it has my electronics and my toiletries. So clothing, toiletries, and that's it. The key to successfully being a Karen only traveler is organization. So I have a compartment or a baggie for absolutely everything. Nothing is like stuffed into my bags just randomly. It goes into its own little baggie. I know exactly where it is and where to put it back. And it makes packing, unpacking really, really easy. And you know exactly where to go if you need something specific. So obviously I always recommend wearing your bulkiest things to the airport. This is the outfit that I wore to the airport and this is my travel outfit. It's just a long pair of pants, a shirt, and this kimono. And of course I have my little trusty crossbody, fanny bag, whatever. It's the same company as my beautiful, beautiful backpack that I talk about so much on my TikTok. And if you follow me on there, you have seen this backpack and you have heard about it. It is my baby. I love it. This is from the same place. It's absolutely everything. And what I like the most is at the back of this is a hidden pocket for your passport and a bunch of mess, apparently. Now for me, the key as a carry-on only traveler is to bring things that usually have more than one use. So this is something that I do with toiletries and something that I try to do with clothes, especially if you're traveling in the winter, which of course it's a lot harder to be a carry-on only traveler in the winter. I have done it for quite a few months, but summer is easier even if you're plus size like me. But something I take with me all the time, no matter the season, <laughs> is this. Now again, if you've seen my TikToks, you will know about this. This is the Lululemon Vinyasa scarf. And this thing is so multi-use, it's kind of crazy. Now, first of all, it is made out of microfiber. So it is very warm. You can wear it as a scarf. You can wear it as a cardigan, a makeshift cardigan, because the thing has, what are these called, snaps, that you can make this into an infinity scarf. And, or if you know how to put this on your body, you can make it into a cardigan. And this is something that I like to do. Uh, I try not to pack like super warm clothes, but you know, some days it can actually get kind of cold and breezy wherever you are. And this is a fantastic thing to put over your, your shoulders, cover yourself up, and you don't actually have to pack a full cardigan or sweater or whatever because this thing does a fantastic job. I have used it as a blanket. I have used it as a pillow. Because of the microfiber feel of it, I've actually been able to use it as a towel as well, which is fantastic. So I never go without this thing and it has been through so many countries with me in the last five years since I've had it. Now this Mono's backpack, it has a modular system at the front, so this little pouch can actually come off if you pull the tab at the bottom, which is really cool. And they have other uh, little things that you can put at the front here instead because it just has like magnetic things that attach it. I don't know. <laughs> 
So this is my favorite thing. It's really nice because it surprisingly is very roomy and it's got a lot of compartments. So I just have my sunglasses in here and another travel essential, which is a collapsible water bottle. Now, anytime that I use this in public when I'm traveling, people are very surprised because they don't actually, they don't really see many of these and it just opens up like this. You fill it up, drink it, a little squishy. And then when you're done, you just squish it back. Now, for what you've all been waiting for, the moment of truth. Ta-da! <laughs> I didn't see you. I was not lying. <laughs> there is nothing here. And all of the magic is in this compartment here. Now, this is just a pair of sandals. Now, it could lay here, but again, I don't consider this to be filled up because this is really thin and just does not count. And all of my clothes for the next month are in here. As you can see, I really do love Tetris. <laughs> if you've seen even one of my packing videos on TikTok, you know that I will never, ever, ever, ever travel without packing cubes. <laughs> now these are my favorite set of packing cubes. I have them linked or the equivalent of these because I don't know if these are still on sale. I have them linked in the storefront. It's in the description if you want to see them. These are the best thing ever. I've had these for absolutely years and they really, really help me to stay organized. And as you can see, in reality, I still have some space here. And this is again, just half of my suitcase. Now again, I'm a plus size traveler, so my clothes are not small. And even then, for an entire month, I still was able to fit into half of the suitcase. If you know these packing cubes, you know that they are compression packing cubes. So it has another zipper to compress if you don't have a lot of clothes in them. This specific one is not compressed, as you can see, but this one is, so it's double zipped. It just depends on how much you stuff it. I just have quite a lot of clothes in here. And let me show you what I actually have. Now I did repack this for the sake of this video, uh, but this is pretty much how it was packed anyway. So if I'm putting a lot of clothes in here, I will fold them in the way that I like them. And then I'll put the last little thing as flat as possible so that I can actually close it in a relatively uniform shape. Now, as you can see, I have one top, two more tops, so that's three tops already, and with what I have on, I have another top and another pair of pants, and that already is four outfits, right? Which for me is already quite a lot, and I could have gone with just this, but I packed two more things. And this is one of my favorite things to pack personally, because I feel like I get a lot of use out of them, and these are jumpsuits. So this is already one outfit right here because you got pants and a top all in one. And I bought brought another one here as well, I'm just unrolling it for you. So altogether, I actually have six whole outfits and that's kind of the golden middle for me. I always say do not bring more than seven days worth of outfits. Of course, like I said, I have no problem with Rewearing things. I am not that type of person that needs to have a new outfit for every single day of my trip And this is more than enough for me. This is pretty much My going out packing cube and again as you can see the power of uh, Packing properly because if I were just to stuff this into this packing cube, it would be an actual mess Now I am just left with these three relatively small packing cubes. This is my pajama and home stuff packing cube, I'm gonna uncompress it for you. And this is what I do when I get to the destination that I was packing for. I will just uncompress all of my packing cubes, open them up, and just place them on a table or on a dresser, it depends on just what I have while I'm traveling. And I will just have all my things out here. I will see what I have, it's still organized, and when I'm repacking, it's gonna be nice and easy because everything has its own spot. As you can see, this is my home clothes. I brought two pairs of pajamas, technically three, but this is more than enough because again, you can wash all this stuff and you really don't need to pack so many extras of things. So I have two pairs of shorts and two t-shirts. As you can see, these are rolled nice and tight. For this type of material, I really like to roll things nice and compact. 
and this is my two pairs of pajamas. I also have this little house dress, which doubles as a beach cover-up because, again, I'm in Greece, and this will be perfect for that. There we go. Last two things are kind of minimal stuff. This just has like little things that don't really fit into the other packing cubes. I have like a pair of bike shorts here, some bralettes, stuff like that. Things that I technically could have gone without, but you know, I have them here as extras for myself. And this last thing, you can probably guess what it is because I have not mentioned anything about it before. This is the socks, underwear, and all that jazz packing cube. Of course, being a plus size girl, I have shorts to go underneath dresses or stuff like that because we don't want to deal with that in the summer. And as you can see, this is it. This is all I brought and this is definitely more than enough for me. And even if it wasn't, I still have space even on this side when this was fully packed to buy more things. I do have to preface that I was not this minimalistic from the beginning of my travels. So don't think that you have to be like this from the get-go if you're a new traveler or if you don't travel very often. It took me years of being a full-time traveler and traveling very often to figure out how little I can pack and still get away with not needing anything else. So this is my happy medium. Yours could look very different or you could be even smaller. That's the beauty of us all being different. Now for this backpack. Like I said, this thing is also not very full and can have this be attached or unattached. It's just magnetic and gets on with no problems. I absolutely love that this thing opens just like a suitcase. And I can fulfill my happy Tetris hacking game. There you go. This is all I have in here. As you can see, also I have empty space. Everything is in its own bag. Everything is very clear and I know exactly where to go if I need something quickly. This is pretty straightforward. This is obviously my liquids bag because it's a carry-on only traveler. You need to have all your liquids in a clear bag like this and they have to be under 100 milliliters. If you want to see what I pack in my liquids bag for an entire month, let me know. This is my favorite liquids bag. I've had it for like three, four, maybe even five years to be completely honest with you. Uh, I have it linked in the storefront in the description of this video if you want to see what it looks like. I got it off of Amazon all that years ago. It still looks brand new, so I'm very, very happy with it. I highly recommend something like this because it's very, very sturdy. I think I'm gonna do a, a separate video for this specifically because this is my very trusty uh, emergency necessities bag. It's got a little bit of everything, and after years of traveling, I just know what you need to have for almost any type of emergency. Uh, while you're traveling. I have helped a lot of other travelers that I've met while staying in hostels or travel with um, Because I have pretty much anything that you would need and this is very useful and just kind of stays in this bag Always and I just have to grab it and pack it. It's super easy and I highly recommend that everybody have something like this As the name suggests This is my makeup now this is actually kind of a lot for makeup, and I will say that I have definitely packed much, much less. If you want to see how to pack makeup as a carry-on only traveler, let me know, because I can do multiple versions of how little and how much you should pack, because this is actually my maximalistic uh, makeup packing. <laughs> can you tell I love baggies? This is my cords or electronics type of baggie. It's got uh, some of my chargers and my hard drive in here uh, you know digital nomad life you kind of need all that stuff and what I love about this backpack like I said is it's got so many little pockets so many little compartments even like a hidden one I've never actually used it but you know you can use it if you want to everything is really organized and it just helps so so much lastly we have this side of the backpack Again, we've got a zipper pocket, we've got a felt pocket, all the pockets for your heart desire, pretty much. I just have my Kindle in here because, hello, I'm on vacation. <laughs> and in here, I just have another pair of sunglasses and my laptop charger because it just does not fit into the small one. But it fits perfectly in this little pocket here. And that is it. So this is why I love compartments. You just stick them like a fun game of Tetris. And that's it. <laughs> you are absolutely done. 
Now, is this an extreme case of minimalistic packing? Potentially. I've seen people that have packed for even less, and I've personally also packed even less for other trips. But this is something that I'm comfortable with. This is my level of comfort. Everybody has their own. You do not have to pack exactly like this to feel like a good carry-on only traveler. That is completely up to you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, maybe give me a comment, subscribe to the channel because so much is going to be coming to the channel soon. More travel tips, travel hacks, my stories of being a full-time traveler. A lot is coming. Stay tuned. It's going to be really interesting. And I'll see you in the next video.